I mean, it was a battle. I mean, it was everything we anticipated it being from start to finish. I think both teams came out with a lot of emotion, and there were some offensive struggles. I mean, we had our fair share of opportunities to score and came away empty, but we never stopped defending. Our players kept their composure, stayed together, and once we got going, um, just continued to chip away and just make plays at the offensive end. You know, defensively, our, our players executed the defensive game plan the way we wanted to do certain things. Um, the ball went inside, on ball screens. Um, very proud of our team and the, and the effort that we showed today um, and the poise that we finished the game with. Like to what it could have finished it a little better um, with making free throws and you know not get, turning it over to give them easy opportunities. But you know when a team plays with a sense of urgency, sometimes those things happen. But you know bottom line is we came away with a win. Questions for coach? Talking about with the free throws when they were when your players were missing the second of the two free throws, you guys normally were coming down with the offensive rebounds. How huge is that in this kind of a game? Well, I mean, it's been an emphasis from the beginning of the year. Um, you know, crossing on free throws uh, with our two players, you know, trying to create offensive opportunities, give us a second chance. Um, we haven't lit it up from the free throw line, so to speak, um, over the course of the season so far. So obviously, just trying to keep the ball alive, give ourselves another chance, and our players made some good reads today uh, to capitalize and give us that. You know, she is unbelievable. Um, she managed the game so well. And I think once she started hitting shots, I think everybody's shoulders were able to relax a little bit and say, okay, we're going to be fine. Um, I think they, they play off of her and they um, read her throughout the game, and she just makes the game easier for a lot of people. She, I thought she managed the game well. I thought she made good decisions. Um, got a little worried when eight minutes to go, she picked up that fourth foul. I didn't see it, um, but uh, she made a great crossover, got to the rim, and I thought they, I thought they were calling a three-point play. And you know, obviously, your heart sinks when your point guard, who's having a great game and controls your team, picks up her fourth. And you saw what happened when she went out of the game. It was two possessions, and we put her back in, um, just because there's a comfort level when she's on the floor. And you know, I'm really enjoying coaching her. Um, and what she brings to this team. What was it like for you to coach against your former players? Um, well, honestly, I, I, they didn't even they wouldn't even look at me for, uh, pregame. So I walked down on, onto the court and there was no eye contact made. Um, and the first time that I actually saw them was in the line um, when we shook hands. So you know there really wasn't any exchange. Um, you know we shake hands as we crossed before the game. And then, um, I, I, you know, once the ball goes up, I mean, I, I said all along that this game was about preparing our team, and the focus was us getting ready for this game. You know, it's a city game. It's pride. It's emotion. It's intensity. Um, it's passion. I mean, it, and I think this game lived up to the bill. How far has this team come since the beginning of the season in your eyes? We've come a long way. Um, I, you know, when we were in Vegas, we started to see a difference in our team. And we competed. We competed with DePaul. We competed with Louisiana Monroe. We competed with Washington. Um, a game that we could have won, a game against Washington. We had a freak injury and warm-ups that changed the complexion. We got down too early, um, early to the team. Um, but we just saw a difference, um, almost like a light bulb went off um, of what we're trying to do how we want to play, um, the fight that we need to have to compete. Um, so coming into this game, coming back from Christmas, we talk about turning the corner, about you know contributions from everyone. I thought Markel was a difference maker today. I thought Cora McManus came off the bench and gave us great minutes. Um, and we needed inside presence. And she, she gave us that in both halves. Um, you know, especially when you got Asia and Lowe struggling a little bit from the floor. Chelsea Welch hit a big three in the first half and defended well. I mean, we got everyone who played, um, got con we got contributions from everyone, and our bench was great. You know, so even when they weren't on the floor, um, you know, they were great cheerleaders and, and you know, encouraging their teammates and staying focused in the game. It's a good win going into 
it's a great win. Um, you know, going into the ACC, obviously we want to try to build off of this, but players play a lot of minutes, give them a day to recover, and then we have two days of practice to get ready for that game. Um, you know, Florida State, you know, will be an unbelievable opponent to open up against. Um, and we'll have our work cut off for us, but you know, we don't have to travel, which is a good thing. Um, being at home and uh, you know, just excited about the challenge that lies ahead, and you know, see see how far we've come to be able to compete at this level.